Hey, Mike, uh, real quick on the Yankee thing, but uh, before I do that, Mike, my wife wanted me to say to you, do you ever realize the the, the families that you were ever affected over the 30 years? I mean, I'm married 37 years. I'm close to your age. I'm 60. I don't know how old you are, but I know you're around I'm my 62. age. 62. Uh, 63, okay, excuse and, me, 63, excuse me. Okay, and, and, and so I'm listening to you half my life, Mike. I mean, I've been here and, my wife had, and my wife had to put up with it half of her life. Well, I ho- I, listen, I hope you guys are still together, you know, because... Well, no, uh, we're, you know, we'll be together forever, and listen, Mike. Listen, I get... Listen, you know what? The women, they grudgingly come along. They do. The beginning, they don't like hearing all the yelling and all this stuff, but they grudgingly come along and become very p- passionate fans on their own right. And so, you know, we're very happy to have them aboard. Very happy to have them with us. So, and they become much, they, they, they like it a lot more than they let on. They, they act like they don't like it in the car and they want to hear music. How many times are you going to listen to a Taylor Swift song or an Ed Sheeran song? How many times are you going to hear this Bruno Mars do the same song? It's, it's not that interesting. So this, you know, you get a different version every day. There's new stuff every day we turn the page. So you can always go back and listen to Bruno Mars again. Or uh, Ed Sheeran or uh, who else is there? I mean, I don't know. I can't give you the other. Who are the other big stars of today? Who? who come on. You guys should know this stuff. Who's the other? Oh, Lady Gaga. No, oh, I mean, yeah, okay. I mean, Taylor Swift. I mean, who's the guys who are a little more out there? Who's like the, what's the? What's well, Eminem and Beyonce just released the song. Uh, Beyonce's uh, big. Well, I mean, we know Beyonce. I mean, there's got to be, there's, there's more of a, you know, there's more people out there than we know. There's got to be some good young bands out there. I don't know who they are. I mean, there's got to be some out there, you know. There's no bands anymore? There's Unfortunately, no... I listen to the same four groups, so. You do? Yes. What, what station do you listen to? I, 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 I you don't listen own to a, station? a musical software. Oh, so you don't listen to a station? I couldn't tell you new music if I tried. Okay, so you don't listen to any new songs. Do you listen to, like, uh, uh, what we call rap music? No, No, really. I'm not a rap music fan okay. at all. Okay. You know, the kids like that stuff. They really do. You know, for some reason they do. Even my kids do. The kids like that stuff. Now, I don't know if it's what you'd call heavy or if it's in the middle. It's more, maybe there's a lesser version versus a harder version. I don't know if that's the case. I mean, I really don't pay much attention With to it. With rap yeah. music? Yeah. For, yeah, I'm sure cursing and stuff is well, different. Well, the cursing right. stuff you don't want to hear. I mean, right. I make them turn the channel off. If they put it on and, they, and they, I hear cursing on there, I turn it off. I, I, I don't let them listen to that. So if I'm in the car with them, they'll be like, Dad, can I put the station on? So I'll say yes and let them turn the station. And then if it, it comes up and the song is really nasty, I turn it off. So I don't let them listen to that. But some of that stuff is... I mean, some of it's okay. I mean, some of it's not crazy. Some of it's like, you know, you want to just, you know, you, you, know, you think you, you, you turn it off. Well, yeah, I'm a, I'm a big Eminem fan, so I think. Right. But he doesn't do anything anymore, does yeah, he? He just released the single with Beyonce. His new album's coming out. All right, but He's one, not as big as he used to be. Yeah, that's what I mean. He's been around for a million years, though. So, I mean, there's got to be some new groups. I mean, I go, you know, you know when I see these groups? When I go to the Jingle Ball every year. I take my daughter to the Jingle Ball. She loves to go to the Jingle Ball every year. So I, t- I get assigned to take her. And this year, I can tell you, it's, a, it's an all-star cast this year. It's uh, Taylor Swift. It's Ed Sheeran, who's very good. Guy's very, he talented. Is, yeah, he's very talented. I saw him at the Meadowlands three years ago, lead, opening for Taylor Swift. And I said, wow, this guy's really good. So he's become a big star. Sam Smith, who I know, has got that high voice, which, you know, I could take a lead. But he's a, he can sing. I mean, he can sing, you know. Um, not Adele, who can really sing. I mean, she, I've seen Adele in person. She can really sing. Um, the Chain Smokers, I know they're big, but I don't know what they say. Yeah, that my my daughters know a couple of their songs. They're big. They're big. They're on there. We're too. getting into the Taylor Swift phase, so yeah. Taylor, well, Taylor Swift's still it. You know, she's still it. She's still the and she's there this year. She's back for the first time in years. She was there like four years ago, and now she's back this year. So she'll close the show around around midnight. She's the last one on. Always the last one on. And you have. Uh, uh, Iggy Azalea, who I know from the basketball player, you know, so she's there and, uh, 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 I'm missing one. Charlie Pugh, Charlie Pugh, the guy who's got the, you know, that, you know, this guy, you know, you know, the song, if you heard his song, he's got that one really popular song, you know, he's a curly head kid from New Jersey. You guys don't know who Charlie Pugh is? You don't know him? No. I can't believe you guys don't know. I know this guy. You Maybe know this song. Maybe the song came on, we'd understand. You'd know this song. You'd know this song. I know we're kids to you, but we are in our thirties. I, I don't know. I don't know the newest young guys. Well, wait a sec. What, what do you listen to? Well, I, you listen yeah. to Bruno Mars? No, you don't. 
No, I don't. Really, I don't. I'm with Monzo. I don't really listen to a lot of today's music. No, oh, I listen to the Foo Fighters right. and Lincoln Park. Right. Two things you probably wouldn't listen to. I had Revolver on the way in this morning, so yeah, that's I'm listening to Beatles albums on the way in. Listen to the Beatles? Well, yeah, yeah. the Beatles I know very well. Right. Listen yes. to a lot of Aerosmith. Mm. I mean, I know a couple of their songs. I saw Aerosmith in person once. I didn't like uh, too loud, way too loud. Drove me crazy. A lot of jamming, guitar jamming. Way with too, that. way too. I, you see, I'm not big on those big guitar things. Like if you know, with that, you know, ears just like you, uh, your head hurts for a week. I can't deal with that. I can't deal with that. You know, but if I go to a concert, it's you know, Billy Joel. I mean, I'm not like Dog who went to Bruce Springsteen every week. I didn't. I've gone to see him. Oh, we like Billy Joel, obviously. Yeah. No, I mean Billy Joel. I've seen like five or six times. I've seen him at the Garden a lot. So, and I've seen Elton John a couple times. I've seen uh, Springsteen a bunch of times, but not like it all goes to Springsteen. Like I've you seen know, Bon Jovi a lot. I've seen. Uh, I mean, I I know Bon Jovi a little bit, so I mean, you know, so I've seen him probably three or four times, I guess, in my life. Not not recently, but three or four times. You know, he and Rich used to come up and watch the hockey games with me years ago. You know, they used to always come up to the garden back when the Rangers were good. They used to come up all the time, and watch the games. All the still time. pretty good. No, but I'm talking about back in 94, they used to come up and watch the games. What I'd have on one side of me, I had Eddie O, who I, we send our best to. He seems to be doing okay, I hear. So, uh, you know, I heard from during the Breeders' Cup, he seems to be doing better. So we send our best to Eddie. Uh, Eddie would be, he had a broken hand. So he was up there watching him with me every night before I did the play-by-play show. So he used to watch, come up and watch, sit with me every night and watch the games. And they used to come up and watch the games a lot. Richie and uh, John used to come up and watch the games. And this is, now you're going back. 1994. It's a long time, a long time. But John, you know, Eddie, you know, hardly ever dressed in those days because he was he had a broken hand most of the season. We saw a, Bon Jovi with you at Mohegan, if you remember. Oh, During he the was snow snowed out. in. It, yeah, he actually gave a free. He actually went down and did a concert for free for the people. Yeah, he was he was on the same floor as me. I was absolutely. He was there for a couple of days. Yeah, so I forgot about that. That's right. Yeah, we were snowed in for two days. That was a, that was unbelievable. Well, it was that was the most snow I've ever seen in my life. That storm. That was the. Even going home that next day, about 4 o'clock in the afternoon, and we had been there since Thursday night. We went home about Saturday afternoon, right around dark. It was still the most snow I had ever seen. It was like 30-something inches they had there. It was just unbelievable how much snow it was. I'd never seen anything like it. You look out the window, you couldn't see anything. It was just completely white. That's all you saw, and it was just it was an amazing storm. That storm. Good place to be stuck, though. Yeah, if you're gonna be stuck somewhere, you might as well be stuck in a casino. Although they didn't have a lot of they didn't have a lot of uh, yeah, they people. They get tellers there. They didn't have a lot of tellers. No, they they were they were really short tables because they didn't. They had a lot of people snowed in, and they didn't have a lot of people to to run the tables. They would they couldn't get them in there. The place was you know completely shut down for. Yeah, a while. I found tables, of course. What a surprise! You probably had one in your room. I mean, are you kidding? You know, probably unbelievable. But um, Demi Lovato, I saw her. She she's, she's going to be year. part of the Jingle Ball. Oh, she is again this year. Yeah, she was last year. She was there last year. Fall Charlie. Out Boy. I know a couple of these. Who else is there? Go ahead. Fall Out Boy. I don't know who that is. Um, Halsey. I'm not sure. I don't she know who looks that like is. a female artist. I don't, I don't know who that, that is. is. No. Uh, who? Liam Payne. I don't, I don't know, know who, who that is. is. I don't know who that is. Because I've been there like this is like the fourth straight year I've, I'm going to the Jingle Ball. I've been there like four, this is like four years in a row. I've gone there. So I band called them. Why Don't We? I don't know them either. So uh, Peter, then, Paul, and Mary there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Peter, 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 you know, Mary's gone. She's she's left us. So they're not all here yet. And uh, I don't know if Pete's going to be there. He might be. You never know. He might still be talking from yesterday when, uh, you know, he's still, he was still talking. And as he left the room, he was still talking. So he was going on and on and on. He was still talking, so. He can still sing though. Got to give him credit. And he played well too. Listen, yeah, he played the guitar well, and he could, and he still could sing. He had a good voice, a very good voice. You could just that was just a very nice melodic voice, very good voice he had. They had some big hits. You guys don't remember them when I was a kid. They, had, if I had a hammer, he had a song called "The Lemon Tree." He had, if I had a hammer, they had "Blowing in the Wind," which was a big hit for them. That was a song Dylan wrote. Um, uh, if I had a hammer, was written by Pete Seeger. You had, uh, um, they had one other one. Well, obviously, Puff the uh, Magic Dragon, and which I never liked. We all know what it's about, but I never liked it. But um, and Michael Row the Boat Ashore. They had that song too. I mean, that was another song. So they had a bunch of songs, you know, from that day. But they were going back to the early '60s with them, mid, you know, '63, '64. What guy? What year you born, Mons? 
I'm born in 82. That's what I mean. It's 20 years after you guys are born. What year are you born? 83. Yeah. I mean, they're 1964, 63. Right. I mean, 20 years before you're born. It's a long time ago. So when, when did you become a Beatle fan? Uh, I, my father really left me no choice. I, oh, I just, really? Yeah, okay. I was just, I've grown up with it my whole life. And your Big favorite? Paul McCartney guy, too. I'm uh I have all his solo one stuff, nicest Wings guys fan. Yeah. One nice, I, don't, I don't love Wings. Yeah. I mean, he's a nice... I think it gets a bad rap because a lot of the hits are and he's so... he's very talented. You know, silly love song and stuff. Well, that's the idea. Of, right. You know, but he, if he, you actually listen to the albums, there's a lot of guitar-driven... That he couldn't songs. write words. You know, the idea that... Right. You know, he was the melody guy and John right. was the lyric Bingo. Guy, yeah. Bingo. Bingo. Nonsense. So, but yeah, we don't have to get into that. But he also played that up a little bit, too, with, mm -hmm. with some of the... He actually accentuated that right. a little bit. Well, I mean, I, he was also the musician, if you ask me. He did albums where he played every single instrument on the album. As there was, was not another Beatle who as could do was that. Harrison very talented. Well, he was, yeah, he was yeah. but he couldn't he wouldn't do, put an album out and play the drums on no, it. No, no, yeah. no. Paul could play every, right. every instrument. Yes. Yeah. No, but Harrison was very talented too and, and and really come up with some interesting things. You know that Harrison discovered Monty Python? Yeah, I know you I knew I didn't know he discovered them, yeah. but I knew he was he was in he was like big part of the Ruddles movie they did right, and all but stuff he like actually, that. Really? He found them. He wow. actually funded them. They got he put he helped put them together. Like he was the first one to give, really give him a, get, uh, a real chance to make some money. I mean, he actually was the one who really backed them in the beginning, and he pay and he produced their first movie. Really? Yeah, he was big. Yeah. He came up with some big stuff. He really did. He had a very interesting life. Yeah, yeah. different guy, spiritual yeah. guy, all yeah. into the yeah. Indian Abs music. And Absolutely. So yeah. So what, you have a favorite Beatle album? Abbey Road is my favorite Beatle album. You never give me your money is typically what I tell people is my favorite song. Oh, well, I wonder why. Uh, but it's <laughs> very, very, very good. Yeah, yeah I know. All right, we did enough. It's of come this. to fruition in life. Yes, yeah. I know. Yeah. I know. I know. There's always a message. Always a message. Now the huge.